Hey gun people, I'm gonna do a uh, video on a couple shotguns here. Just Buddy saw me walk up here. He was like, dude, what are you doing? I think Mr. T saw me too, but he's kind of started to ignore me. So, um, let's look at these two shotguns. Um, the difference between them. I'll show them. They're both 870s. Uh, my other 870, I showed you that I um, that one I was test firing the other day. Just moved. That's why they say never lean a, a gun on a tree or against something like that. The wind will blow it. It could fall over and shoot. Neither of these guns have a round in the chamber. My uh, my focus isn't really working real well here. I don't know if it's because it's kind of foggy and damp out here. Um, let's see if that cleaned up the lens a little bit, see if it'll focus in. That's a little better. So as you can tell, both these shotguns are the same. Um, the, the, the few differences that I'm going to discuss is the black stock is synthetic, which is plastic. Um, some people prefer synthetic stocks, plastic over wood. The left is wood. Um, Again, left and right, boy, my focus just doesn't seem, hopefully it's coming out better on a video because I'm seeing it and it looks pretty non-focused. Uh, the pros and cons to wood and, and synthetic, synthetic's a little bit tougher, the, the black, the plastic, um, uh, it's, it's considered more of a tactical, I guess most of your departments, your police agencies, military will use the black hard plastic. It's not going to dent like wood. It's not as soft as wood. It's not going to rot like wood. It's not going to swell up and shrink like wood. So when you really get it into accuracy, you don't want your stock, if it's wood, you know, collecting moisture early in the morning if it's due and you're out using your gun and it swells up and then that can move your barrel. It can throw off the, the impact point of your bullet. So some people prefer the synthetic stock. It's a little bit more consistent. But of course for nice looking traditional guns, most people like the checkering on the wood stocks. Uh, they think it looks a little bit more traditional. Half a dozen one or the other. Um, on these two shotguns here, uh, the, the, the right one, the synthetic one, I just found at a pawn shop for 200 bucks. So it had a little surface rust on it, but I thought 200 bucks was a pretty good deal, and I figured, you know what, I could use a, a shotgun just to leave outside that, in case somebody steals it or um, it gets rusty or dirty or, you know, I don't have to worry about it. So it was synthetic, it was 200 bucks, so I decided to pick it up. So I cleaned it and I haven't shot it yet. Now you'll notice that it looks like there's two barrels here. Now most people will know that that's just called, what's called an extended magazine tube. And again, when I get the gun in front of me, um, I don't know how this thing's going to focus in here, but uh, you, you see this end cap here? Come on, baby. Focus in for me. So that end cap right there is nothing more than it's holding the barrel on and it stops the spring that holds the bullets. So the bullets are in that tube. So on this one, what has happened is, is it's called an extended magazine tube and basically they sell these all over the place you just it replaces your screw cap I'm gonna to try to do this a little bit closer and see if it focuses in better when I'm uh, in front of it so let's see if we can't get this thing uh Hopefully that's focusing in. I can't really tell by looking at this. That yeah, looks pretty focused. So, <clears throat> this part right here is called an extended magazine tube. And basically the whole thing just screws off. So on the other one you just have a nut right here that you screw on and it holds this second tube here where your rounds are. One, two, three, four. Uh, when you put this on here, you can get two or three extra rounds. So it makes your shotgun basically hold more rounds. Uh, 
So this already had it. I cleaned it up. It was kind of, like I said, dirty and rusty. But you can get an extended magazine tube for any 870. This will also fit the 1100. If you watch my other video, I did the 1100 Remington shotgun. Same thing. So I think I've got six or seven rounds in here, but I don't have one in the chamber. I'm going to go ahead and chamber around and shoot. I'm going to go over one more thing real quick. This is a, uh, I, I like these sights. Uh, I'm not sure who makes them or what they're called, but if you go to a gun store, you go to Cabela's, go online to Brownells, I'm sure you can find them. They've just got these strong magnets underneath, and it's basically, I think it comes to a little packet where you can put orange, yellow, or green. And instead of having a dot at the end of your shotgun, that little dot right there, that BB, this just gives it a little bit more of a, so if you're looking down the gun, you see that little BB to where you're going to line up that BB? Well, when you stick this on here with these magnets, it just fits right over the magnet and it sucks down on there. Now when you look down the rifle, it gives you that green dot, which really picks up pretty quickly and it's easy to see. I don't know if the video is picking it up, but I like them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a couple more because I, I like them. I'm going to put them on one of the shotguns because when you're coming up quick to side in, it just, that, that green dot really just focuses in on you. And again, for some reason, yeah, it looks like it's showing up a little bit. It really looks good when you're looking right down it. So anyway, uh, same shotguns. This has an extended magazine tube, and this has uh, the synthetic versus the wood. All these parts are interchangeable. So a lot of times you can, if you have a, you know, a few shotguns or if you have old parts, you can build you a shotgun with some of your old parts. These are pretty simple guns. They're easy to build. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I've cleaned this. I've shot it, or I haven't shot it. I cleaned it. I did my function check, so I'm pretty sure it's going to work, but I always like to come out shoot a gun, make sure it shoots before I load it up in case I have to pull it out and use it and, and depend on it. So, as you can tell, I keep my shotguns with rounds in the tube, but not one in the chamber. So even if you pull the trigger, it's not gonna go off. And I always pull the trigger on my guns when I store them or keep them. So right now, I keep my gun on fire you can see the red there. Red means fire. So uh, I always keep my guns on fire with the trigger pulled. That way I don't have to do anything. When I pick this gun up, all I have to do is pull it back. It's going to drop around in there. I go forward and I'm ready to shoot. I don't have to worry about is the safety on or off? Do I have to check? Let me hit my release to pull it back. I always keep no round in the chamber with the trigger pulled, so all I have to do is grab this gun and jack around. So let me see if this thing's going to shoot. Try to shoot a little at you. Fired pretty good. See if it ejects. Locked it out. Put another round in. Looks like it's doing pretty good. Uh, I thought it would work, but again, when you take a gun apart, you start cleaning it, mess with it, you kind of want to make sure that it's going to function properly and everything's going to work. 870 synthetic, 200 bucks at a pawn shop. Uh, can't beat it. Great gun. It'll be now because I had a few rounds. I don't know how many rounds I shot. I think I shot four rounds. So. Because I have a round in the chamber now, and I have rounds up here, there's a few ways to unload a shotgun. One way is you can lift this up, press the little mag release, and the round will pop out, and you can take it out that way. I, I would just rather rack them out and throw them out. So I'm going to hold in the little release here, just let them fall on the ground. Okay, now that it's empty, check the barrel. You can see the, the plug down there is orange. That tells me there's no other rounds in there. So now I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna squeeze the trigger. 
and then I'm going to put rounds in here, back to where it goes. And then I'll fill it up and then I'm going to put it in my, uh, this is going to be my golf cart gun. If you saw my golf cart, I've got a little holder. If it fits in the rifle holder, this is going to sit in the golf cart. So now the gun's ready to shoot. It's on fire, trigger's pulled. There's no round in here, but there's rounds in there. So when I grab this, all I have to do is rack around and I'm ready to get into action. Standard magazine tube, synthetic stock, 870, 870 Remington. Hope that helps. We'll end that there. Those horses didn't move too much, did they? <laughs> Good boys!